Welcome to our homework for Lesson 7. This is Module 5 of Grade 2, and write your name first before you start doing it. We're going to do a lot of addition, some subtraction, some arrowway, a lot of different stuff to do. Make sure you get your name on there first. You won't remember to do it after you've done all this math. Solve each problem with a written strategy, such as a tape diagram, a number bond, the arrowway, the vertical form, or chips on a place value chart. So this little box is not a lot of room, but it's enough for the kind of math that we're going to be doing. 300 plus 370 plus 300. So I'm going to use a number bond strategy for this. And just think of this 370 as 300 and 70. And so we have 300 plus 300, 600, 600 plus 70, 670. And we have subtraction here. 562. 500 minus 200. That's 300. And then we can add the 62 in there. 300 plus 62 equals 362. And now we've got a missing add end here. So we can solve this by subtraction, or we can solve it using the arrow way, right? What do we need to add to 500? We could do it this way. 500 plus 100. 600 plus another 100. 700 plus another 100 that gets us to 800 and now we still need 12 more plus 10 810 you could do all 12 at once probably plus 2 812 and what did we have to add go back here we can look at what we had to add together 100 200 300 310 312. 312 is what we have to add to 500. And now this one, that 190 is almost 200. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to make, think of this as a tape diagram. 230. 190. Even if you can do these in your head, you have to write down, you have to show your mental strategy somehow. And I'm using a tape diagram to show that. I would have to add 10 to both of these. And I'd have 240 minus 200, which equals 40. And here we have subtraction. Now that 180, I could use the same strategy because that 180 is almost 200, so. You don't have to use these particular strategies. You could do all of them vertical method if you, if you wanted to. Uh, this is the 180, 20 more, 20 more. So now we have 660 minus 200, and that's 460. And this 290, that's almost 300. So 450, 190, and it needs 10 more. So we're going to add 10 to both. 460 minus 200 is 260. And now it says we got to use the arrow way to complete these number sentences. So we've got some subtraction here. 420 
and I'm going to subtract the hundreds first. 220. Then we have 220. Ran out of room there. 220. And I still have to subtract 30, right? So I'm going to subtract 20 first. Because that's going to get me to 200. And then 10 more. 190. More subtraction. Let me subtract the 100 first. That gets me down to 240. Now I have to subtract 60. Well, I don't have 60, so I'm going to take the 40 first, which will get me down to 200. And then I can take the rest of the 60, which would be 20 more. It's easier to subtract from 100. Like on one of the hundred numbers, like 200, 180, 710, minus 300, so 410, and the 410. I still have to subtract the 50. I'm going to subtract the 10 first because that's going to get me down to 400. And then I still have to subtract 40. 360. Now we're solving 667 plus 295 using two different strategies. Any two different strategies. Well, I like variety. So I'm going to do some regular... Vertical addition, 7 plus 5 is 12. I have to compose a 10. You can put it down here, or you can put it up here. doesn't matter which. I got a 10 here, plus 6 more. That's 16, but I have to compose a 100. So when I have 6 plus 2, that's 8, and 1 more is 9. I have 962. Well, I could look at this and say that 295 is almost 300. So I could do this. This would be pretty messy, the arrow way, but I could even use number bonds to get this to make the next 100. 295 only needs 5 more. So here's our 5. And the rest of 5 less than 667 is going to be 662. So that's going to be 300. So I have 662 plus 300 equals 962. And they're both the same. So if you use two different methods, that's another way to check to see if you, did, you didn't make any mistakes. If you use the same method twice to check, to, you probably make the same mistake twice. So that's why it's important if you're going to check you can check addition by doing subtraction, too. You can subtract either add end from your total and see if you get the other add end. Uh, but, or you can just do a different method for addition. Now explain which easier, which strategy is easier to use when solving and why. You really, you could pick either one of these. Um, I'm going to say here that um, vertical... Vertical addition is easier, but it's really, it's only easier really if you have to write it down. Or if you're looking at this, if you can do this mental math and think, oh, that's 662 plus 300, 962, it's a lot faster than even having to, you, by the time you've done that in your head, you're not even done writing down the 667 plus 295. But as long as you have to write it down, for vertical addition is probably just easier to write down. It's easier to write on paper. And if you wanted to say that the um, 
this method or whatever other method you did was easier. There's all kinds of different reasons why. So there's not just one strategy that's always the easiest. You may have done two different strategies and not even tried vertical math. You could have done air away. Circle one of the strategies below and use the circled strategy to solve 199 plus 478. So we're going to use either air away or number bond and then explain why we chose the strategy. So I think I see this 199 and that's almost 200. So if I'm going to add air away, I'm going to have to add, I'm going to have to add hundreds. I'm going to have to add tens. I'm going to have to add ones. It's going to be an awful lot to write down the air away. So I think, if, but if I do this, uh, if I do a number bond strategy, uh, it's going to be a lot quicker and there'll be fewer steps for making mistakes. So here I'm going to solve it. Plus 478. This needs one more to be, this 199 needs one more to be 200. So here's the one more. And then the other part of this is going to be 477 because it has to be one less. Here's our 200. Two hundred plus four hundred seventy-seven is six hundred seventy-seven. Okay, so why did I choose that strategy? I have to find a way to explain it. Um, the hundred ninety-nine was close to. 200 so the number bond strategy had fewer steps Now, if you think about it a little bit more, um, there are other ways to do it the air way besides the first way I thought of. You may have thought of one of them. And there is a way to use the air way and get this in just two steps. And they're both really easy steps. So if you'd have t seen that 199 and thought, well, that's almost 200, and you just add 200 instead, and then subtract one back. And if that kind of strategy is one that you use mentally, then that's an easy one to write down arrowway in two steps. If you'd have thought of that, you could have written that down too, and that might have been easier. So there's a, it depends on how you do it and what the numbers are for which strategy is better and why you choose which strategy you choose.